Our universe is vast, it's filled with billions of galaxies. Each galaxy contains billions of stars. Many of these stars have planets. Some planets are in the habitable zone where conditions are just right for life. With so many possibilities it seems likely that life could exist elsewhere. Yet we haven't found any evidence of alien life. No signals, no spaceships, no signs of any kind. This discrepancy between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence is what we call the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox is named after the brilliant physicist Enrico Fermi, a man whose contributions to science are immeasurable. In 1950, during a casual lunchtime conversation with his colleagues, Fermi posed a simple yet profound question that would echo through the annals of scientific inquiry. Where is everybody? He was referring to the perplexing lack of evidence for extraterrestrial civilizations, despite the vastness of the cosmos. Fermi reasoned that given the immense age and size of the universe, some civilizations should have had ample time to develop advanced technology and make their presence known. They should have colonized the galaxy by now, spreading their influence across the stars. So, why haven't we encountered them? This question, simple in its phrasing, opens up a universe of possibilities and theories. Fermi's question sparked a debate that continues to this day, engaging scientists, philosophers and enthusiasts alike in a quest for answers. It highlights the profound mystery surrounding our place in the cosmos, a mystery that challenges our understanding of life and the universe. Are we truly alone, or are there other intelligent beings out there, hidden from our view, perhaps watching us from afar? The search for extraterrestrial life continues, driven by our innate curiosity and the hope that one day we might find the answer to Fermi's cosmic question. In 1961, astronomer Frank Drake attempted to formalize Fermi's question. He developed an equation to estimate the number of detectable civilizations in our galaxy. This equation, known as the Drake Equation, takes into account factors like the rate of star formation in our galaxy, the fraction of stars that have planets, the number of habitable planets per star system, and the fraction of habitable planets where life emerges. The Drake Equation doesn't provide a definitive answer. Instead, it offers a framework for thinking about the factors that influence the likelihood of finding extraterrestrial intelligence. Despite decades of searching, we haven't found any definitive evidence of alien civilizations. We've been scanning the skies for radio signals, looking for patterns or messages that might indicate an intelligent source. But so far, the only signals we've picked up are natural phenomena like pulsars and quasars. This absence of signals, known as the Great Silence, is another piece of the Fermi Paradox puzzle. If intelligent life is common in the universe, shouldn't we be detecting some signs of their existence by now? Section 5. The Great Filter, a Cosmic Roadblock? One possible explanation for the Fermi Paradox is the Great Filter Theory. This paradox questions why, given the vast number of stars and potentially habitable planets in our galaxy, we haven't yet detected any signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. This theory proposes that there's a barrier or filter that prevents life from evolving to an advanced stage. This filter could be a series of highly improbable events or challenges that life must overcome to reach a level of technological advancement capable of interstellar communication or travel. This filter could be anything from the difficulty of life emerging in the first place, such as the formation of simple organic molecules and the transition to self-replicating life forms, to the challenges of evolving complex life forms, including the development of multicellular organisms, the rise of intelligence, and the ability to manipulate the environment, or the tendency of intelligent civilizations to destroy themselves. This could be through nuclear war, environmental collapse, or other self-inflicted catastrophes that prevent a civilization from reaching a stage where it can explore the stars. If the Great Filter exists, the big question is, where is it in our evolutionary timeline? Is it behind us, meaning we've already overcome the most significant hurdles that prevent life from advancing? Have we already passed it? meaning we're one of the few lucky civilizations to make it this far? This would imply that the emergence of intelligent life capable of creating advanced technology is exceedingly rare. Or is it still ahead of us, a looming threat to our future? If the Great Filter is in our future, it suggests that we may face significant challenges or existential threats that could prevent us from becoming an interstellar species. This uncertainty 
adds a profound layer of mystery and urgency to our quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Section 6. Under Surveillance. Are they watching us? Some scientists have proposed that advanced civilizations might be deliberately hiding from us. This idea, known as the zoo hypothesis, suggests that they're observing us from afar, studying our behavior and development. Perhaps they've established a galactic quarantine, waiting for us to reach a certain level of technological or social maturity before revealing themselves. The idea of being watched by unseen observers might seem like science fiction, but it's a possibility worth considering. Section 7, Self-Destruction, A Cosmic Dead End Another unsettling possibility is that intelligent civilizations tend to destroy themselves before reaching interstellar travel or communication capabilities. We've already developed technologies capable of wiping out our own species like nuclear weapons and climate change. Perhaps other civilizations have succumbed to similar self-inflicted wounds, explaining why we haven't encountered any. If so, our own survival may depend on overcoming these existential threats. The vastness of space also plays a crucial role in the Fermi Paradox. Even if intelligent life is relatively common, the distances between stars are immense. It would take thousands or even millions of years for signals or spacecraft to travel between star systems. This means that even if a civilization sent out a signal thousands of years ago, it might not have reached us yet. Or, if they did, the civilization that sent it might no longer exist. Section 9. Imagining the Unimaginable What if aliens are not like us? Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence is often biased by our own experiences and understanding of life. We tend to look for signals and technologies that resemble our own. But what if alien life is radically different from anything we can imagine? Perhaps they communicate through means we haven't even discovered yet. Or maybe their biology is so foreign that we wouldn't even recognize them as life forms. Section 10. The Cosmic Zoo Hypothesis. Are we alone in the zoo? The Cosmic Zoo Hypothesis suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations are aware of our presence but choose not to interfere. They may be observing us much like we observe animals in a zoo, without directly interacting with us. This hypothesis implies that we are part of a galactic preserve, shielded from the wider universe for reasons unknown. While this hypothesis is highly speculative, it raises intriguing questions about the ethical implications of contacting or being contacted by an advanced alien species. Section 11 The Dark Forest, A Universe of Hidden Dangers The Dark Forest theory presents a more chilling perspective on the Fermi paradox. It suggests that the universe is a dangerous place and civilizations choose to remain silent to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Any civilization that reveals its presence risks being targeted by hostile forces. In this scenario, the Great Silence is a survival tactic, and our efforts to contact other civilizations might be incredibly risky. Section 12. The Fermi Paradox, An Enduring Mystery The Fermi Paradox remains one of the most profound mysteries in science. It questions why, given the vast number of stars and potentially habitable planets in our galaxy, we have yet to find any evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. This paradox challenges our understanding of life, the universe, and our place within it. There are no easy answers, only intriguing possibilities. Some theories suggest that intelligent life is exceedingly rare, while others propose that advanced civilizations may be avoiding us or are simply too far away to detect. Each hypothesis opens up new avenues of thought and exploration. It's a reminder of the vastness of the universe and our limited understanding of our place within it. The sheer scale of the cosmos is both humbling and awe-inspiring, prompting us to question our significance and the potential for other life forms. As we continue to explore the cosmos and search for signs of life, we must grapple with the implications of both finding and not finding evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. The discovery of alien life would be one of the most profound events in human history reshaping our understanding of biology, technology, and our place in the universe. The Fermi Paradox is a testament to the power of human curiosity and our enduring quest to understand the cosmos and our place within it. It drives scientists, astronomers, and thinkers to push the boundaries of knowledge, to look deeper into the night sky, 
and to ponder the fundamental questions of existence. Whether we are alone or not, the search itself is a journey that enriches our understanding of the universe and ourselves.